friends. We love you so much. Welcome to day two. This is what you can expect around our campfire. We're a little bit crazy, but we get the work done. We yeah. make the money. We build the influence. We generate the leads. We do it, but we do it having fun. So tell me, did you have fun last night through day one? Or was your brain like racing to the point where you just didn't get any sleep last night? Because <laughs> that happens too, doesn't it? <sighs> Stephanie said it was so much fun. Very good. Hi, Emmy, Caroline, Don, Stephanie. I can't even get you all. I, I know. I, so many. I love it. Hi, 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 Anita. Yep, Anita. Set up her account. She set up her account. That's all I can feel. That's all you needed to do. Great job. Myrna, Hi, Myrna Myrna. from Nicaragua. What, Lauren's like, my brain was buzzing. It's a good buzz, right? It's a That's good a, buzz. A great buzz. I agree. Sort of confused. Okay, no problem. Okay. Jean Coon, I almost texted you last night and I knew I should have. I knew I'm going to today. I was like, I'm so proud of Jean for being here. I called so her out. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Hi, Anita. Newborn. Okay. So honestly, today we're going to talk about the life blood. I mean, the critical life blood, the marrow, the ligaments, the muscle, the everything. And that's called your keywords, your keywords. So I want to talk real quick. Um, do you understand what I mean when we're talking about keywords? Martha Brown is like, let's do this. That's, that's my girl. Yes. Okay. Yes. So for anyone who's like, yes, Karen, searchable words, right? Absolutely. Keywords are my love language too, Tanya. Pretty much. Okay. I appreciate the honesty. So I want you to think of, right, when you are holding this thing in your hand and you're searching Google or you're talking to, you know, who she's like Beetlejuice. I'm not going to summons her. I'm not going to call her out, but you know, when you're searching for things, that's how you land on the content that you land on. So we're going to kind of switch gears from that consumer mode to the creator mode. Now you're the creator. You get to create your content, which you probably, I told Jean yesterday, I'm like, you have content that will literally outlive you. Because when you guys realize what you can bring over to Pinterest, you're like, holy crap. I don't have to create much right out of the gate. I can share my existing Facebook lives, my Facebook groups, my YouTube videos. I can make some pins about my lead magnets, right? It's pretty simple. It is not easy, but it's simple. Now you're going to either be found or you're going to be frustrated. And I know you're all here because you want to be found and you deserve to be found. If you're not using keywords that your audience is searching for, you won't get found. All right. So who's here to be found, to be seen, to be heard, to plant the flag, to be forever creating content that pops up year over year? Heck yes. All right. I know you are in the right house today. What's up, Deb? Thank you for joining us on Facebook. So I'm going to share my screen. Again, I don't have a PowerPoint presentation today. I'm not clickbaiting you. I'm not going to sneak into Canva and pull up an old one. We're going to work over my shoulder. I want to use you as an example. Who wants me to pull your keywords for your business for you? <laughs> okay. 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 All right, Barb, you're going to have to kind of see like who's saying who's first, who's second, who's because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you all of my favorite, favorite tools. All right. We're not going to hold anything back from you. I'm going to start off really easy. Okay. I'll show you some more complicated things and why I love them. So number one, we all have a little tool called Google. I think who was first? Who said me first? Gene Kuhn. Jean Coon, come on down. Uh, here's what I want you to do, Jean. Tell us a little bit about what you do. What are your clients looking for? What are your clients searching for? Teresa, the replays? Yes, 
they are streamed live into our Facebook group. Uh, I think Barb has that link mm -hmm. so that you don't have to wait for me for the replay. Okay. Your clients want more clients of their own. They want more money. Um, so Jean is an incredible business coach. Incredible. I speak at her events. I'll be there again in Illinois, October. I'll have to get the dates, but more ease. All right. So let's type. I want to go a little bit deeper, right? Time freedom. Now we're talking, right? Okay. So when we go to Google, a lot of people don't realize this tool is literally going to spoon feed us. These are keywords right in front of us. Feel free to take a screenshot. Okay. You, <laughs> I don't know what the word means that Deborah's using. All I saw, she wants to be the queen of Pinterest and that's already taken, but I don't know what the word in front of it <laughs> means. You know what that means? Yeah, that's a network marketing company. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll allow that. I'll okay. allow that. So Jean, time freedom on Google. We look at this predictive text and it shows us, this actually shows us what our humans are searching for on Google. So if I go down to time freedom, that's the first searched term right here in Google. We would use these. And I agree. Jean is the best. The next one is time freedom quotes. Anyone here in my current uh, mastermind, you know that we talk a lot about pinning quotes on Pinterest because they perform so, so well. And then we'll point those pin quotes anywhere you want them to go, okay? The next one is time freedom meaning. So that's what people are looking for. Like, hey, I, I think I know what this is and I, I know I want it, but what does time freedom actually mean? Time freedom synonym, definition, images. Whoa, hold on a second. Kim told us yesterday that Pinterest is a visual search engine. So what would happen if you created pins, imagery, aesthetics, right? Graphics that show time freedom, and you use the word time freedom images, is there a chance that when they Google time freedom images, that somebody's Pinterest pins will pop up? Mm -hmm. Right? Time freedom business, time freedom jobs. And so I would use all of those in my Pinterest journey. I use a little, uh, it's called Trello. It's a little tool called Trello, trello.com. I love to keep my stuff organized in there. So if I have a card in there, you can use a Google doc too. It doesn't matter what your tool is. Um, but I like to kind of keep my keywords there so that as I'm pinning, whether it's a video or a static pin, I don't have to uh, go pull my research every single time, right? And and um, I'm looking at Stephanie's question, like, I think I got into that yesterday. Where do you put those keywords? So one is your username, right? Two is your about me section. These are all the places we talked about yesterday. Three is your board names, right? So if Jean Kuhn had a board called Time Freedom Quotes, it could legit just be quotes about freaking time freedom and she could point them to her upcoming in-person event in October or she could point them to her podcast, Facebook group, lead magnet, anywhere, okay? But I'm gonna click on one. Jean, which one do you like the best? I get around you guys and I get hot. She likes time freedom business. So I'm going to click on time freedom business. Okay. So have you ever seen this on Google? 
where it says people also ask. And maybe you ignore this, but you can't ignore it any longer. Rebecca says it's getting hot in here. I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> yeah, so here's what happens. Every single one of these is a keyword. It's a hook for your business, for you, for your pins, for your videos. So if Jean made a short form video, right, that says, what is time freedom in business? Bam, that's a hook. That's a keyword. Now she can create the video or she can create pins about it. And that could legitimately be her Pinterest pin title. Okay. But what happens when I click this drop down? And I'm going to close it because I don't care about the answer. I don't care about anyone else's answer. I'm not in consumer mode right now. I'm in straight up creator mode. Okay. When we're in creator mode, we minimize distractions. We don't get pulled into consumer mode. We don't get pulled into the scroll hole. That's right, creator mode activated. So did you notice when I clicked that drop down, my list started to grow, my questions started to grow. The next one, what is an example of time freedom? Do you think, I spent some time in London with Jean Kuhn. Do you think she could show a picture of herself in London? and title her pin or her video, what's an example of time freedom? And then she could say, how am I running my business from a whole nother country, right? Or not running my business, maybe I'm playing and having fun. But if I click this down and back up, look at this list, it's expanding every single time. If you're not using this area in Google, to feed people what they're literally asking you for, you're missing the boat. So I want you to put an X in the chat if you're already starting to get it, if this is valuable, if you're like, holy crap, I never thought of using Google this way. Very cool. Hello, Carrie. All right, what is and I could keep going. This will never end, right? Boom, 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 boom. It'll keep going and going and going. So that's how you want to use that. Because let me tell you what happens with a search engine. The longer time-wise and the more consistent you are when you're creating content about a similar topic, that search engine feels like, okay, we really trust this creator because of your consistency, because of your truth, because of how you show up, right? And they're going to kind of open those gates and show your content to more people. So if Jean or any one of you start to create content like this consistently for a long enough period of time, who's going to dominate this search? Okay, so that's google.com, super easy. And I wanna look at something real quick. This is my story. All right, let's go to Pinterest. You guys don't need to see me. You only need to see my screen. I'm nothing special to look at. <laughs> Remember me saying that Pinterest itself is a very, very magical search engine. Thank you, Jean, for letting us kind of play in your business a little bit. Um, who's next, Barb? Who wants me to kind of use them as an example? Let's see. The next person up is I, Tracy Miller. Tracy, tell us what you do. I don't need to know the company. I just need to know what are your people looking for? Well, I'm sorry, dearie. Maybe you need to leave and come back because I think everybody else can see the screen. So I'm Tracy, not- Tracy, are you there? 
If Tracy's not there, then we can move on to Elizabeth Rose. All right. You say Tracy or Elizabeth. So while we're waiting, okay, Elizabeth, helping women take control of finances, okay? I love Dawn's question. Like, how do I get the yellow border? Isn't that sexy? That's my yellow border. I made that in Canva. And um, if you go to Canva and you type in create a design, you are going to look for the YouTube thumbnail, okay? This just happens to be one of my brand colors. That's why I have it. So um, building a solid financial future. So what would those women ask, right? If I'm that woman and I'm like, I need to take control of my finances. Am I looking to get out of debt? Am I looking to be able to give my children and my family a vacation? Am I looking to build a retirement nest what am i what am i looking for right how to build a retirement account gene i'm with you budget right so this is where we want to start thinking we know what we do so so well but us as the creator we're going to think a little differently than our ideal person right i use health and wellness a lot as an example um because when we the health and wellness industry is like, oh, I want to help people with vitality and all these sweet, sweet, sweet things. And the person who's waking up out of bed, shuffling their feet to the freaking bathroom sink, they're brushing their teeth and they're looking in the mirror. They're not saying to themselves, oh, I, I wish that I could get longevity and vitality in my life. They're looking at their crow's feet going, when the hell did these get here? Oh my gosh. They're looking at the cottage cheese on their legs and saying, when, what, what do I, what do I do? Right. We have got to be entering the conversation as it's already happening in their mind. So when we're on Pinterest directly, we're going to click on this little this little microscope thingy. What is this thing called? I have no idea. It's this little search bar. I don't know what that is. It's magnifying like glass. The Dick Tracy thing. Yeah, magnifying. magnifying. That's the one. So it's going to default to your pins, but we don't care what's on my pins, right? We don't care what's on your pins. We're doing some magical, magical research right now. So we're going to change this to all pins. We want to look through all of Pinterest. And let me type um, da, 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 da. budget. I'm just going to type the word budget. Remember, please remember me saying less is more when it comes time to doing your keyword research. Because if you think I want to type like, oh, budgeting for divorced women, right? Now you're looking through your lens. A, a divorced woman who wants to gain control of her finances is not going to go to Google and Pinterest and say, oh, budgeting for, for divorce. No, they're going to just look at a budget because in their mind, they know they're a divorced woman. They know they're looking to get a hold of their finances and get them in order. So if we do less, we're going to see the simplicity that's right under our nose that we miss 99% of the time. So again, this is very much like Google, but this is what's happening specifically on Pinterest. So the very first keyword right at the top, you'll see here, it says budgeting finances. That in itself is a keyword. Now, in this specific example, we could go pull keywords for divorced women or, you know, moms, if they're whoever her ideal audience is, whoever your ideal audience is, you could then tie those keywords together and what I call marry them together. No pun intended. I just, that's what I say. So I could say budgeting finances for divorced women, right? You see how we do that? This is also what we do 
when we're looking at the seasonal trends and I get so much more um, elaborate with the seasonal trends inside of my mastermind because it's a very big conversation. But when you learn how to marry what we call here is your root keywords. When I say root, I just mean, you know, Veronica, I, I don't care how you search. You can search them in incognito all you want, but I don't really care what, what I don't care. So if you want to do incognito, you can, um, it's, it's not better. It's not worse. It's just your keywords are showing up. So next is budgeting, but look what I see. I have one, two, three, four, five. There's five Pinterest accounts that are being shown to me. And if you were paying attention yesterday, I want you to tell me why. Why are these five accounts being shown to me right now? They didn't know there was going to be a quiz. Ah, yes. All right. Way to go. You're getting the whole concept. That's a very important part of the process. And you're all right. It is because of the keywords. So these people understood if I want to be seen, I've got to tuck those keywords, the, the, the most important keywords for your business in your name. It doesn't mean all of them. This lady went a little crazy, right? Budgeting for bliss saving money, meal planning, homemaking, recipes, Disney. She, she stuck them all in her, her name. But this lady is like, hey, I'm just budgeting in the fun stuff, right? But because they're using the variations of the word budget in their name, Pinterest is showing them to me. And that's exactly what's going to happen with your account when your humans are searching for them, okay? But if we go through here, budgeting notebook ideas, budgeting for beginners, these are all key words. So if anyone here in the house is in the financial budgeting space, you might want to take a screenshot of this. Budgeting money, budgeting worksheets. Um, Barb, one of our, one of our um, mutual friends, Leanne, who is a fantastic uh, financial woman, I don't know what quite what she does, but she has budgeting worksheets. And I said, okay, you need to sell these things like super low ticket, seven bucks, right? I said, create a, like a little sales funnel and start pinning these budgeting worksheets every single day, make a pin or a little video about them and let it point to your budgeting worksheet sales page. So if these humans are looking for budgeting worksheets, guess what happens? They find her pin. They click the link that's attached to her pin. They land on her sales page. They buy her product. She has her email set up, what we call automation. And it sends an automated email to this person's inbox and says, hey, congratulations. Here's your worksheet. She's making money in her sleep. Are you seeing how simple this is? Building the foundation, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It takes a little bit of work. But what happens is, like I said yesterday, as long as this earth is in rotation, there is always going to be people looking for what you have and what you do. If you can set yourself up in a leveraged, semi-automated, because I think the word automation sometimes scares people. And PJ, I appreciate the honesty. Like, I don't know how to make a funnel stick around, right? Those are the things I'm going to show you. Not in this challenge, but I know you're in the group and I know you're on my email list. So I've got you. Okay. And Barb, you're very, very good at making funnels, by the way. So we have got, you know, a, a team of individuals you can reach out to. So let me click on um, budgeting money. Yes, Sharon, people can use this for job searching. Um, I have uh, realtors who use this, right? So like, let's say jobs, 
Look at jobs for teen, uh, jobs for 14 year olds, 16. Let's say jobs in, I'm just gonna say Chicago. I don't know. It's like a modern day Craigslist. <laughs> Anything now about jobs in Chicago, this one here. Senior director, marketing job, Chicago. It's posted from Indeed. So here's what I love. Here's what I love. I love to blow people's minds because they're like, I just don't get it, right? Pinterest is a the powerful, powerful. Yeah, uh, thank you, Sharon. It's a search engine. So if you're selling houses, if you're offering a job, right? People are going to see it here. So I can click on this. And look at it, it's forwarding me right to indeed.com so I can go search Indeed and choose, do I want to apply for this job? And anything around that, a lot of people know, hey, if I'm a travel agent, if I am an Airbnb host, if I have clothing, right? I know to target people in Chicago. So when you look for jobs, you might see other things but that's because they're targeting. So this person here, what to expect when moving to Chicago alone, I was going to say they probably have a blog. And then when I hovered over it, it said blog dot. So I know they're sending you to their blog. Pros and cons, right? So this is a travel person. Pros and cons of living in Chicago. You can find houses. You could probably find relationships on Pinterest. I'm in a very secure one, so I've never looked, but <laughs> all right. We're gonna get pretty deep right now. Are we good so far? Have I lost you? Do you feel like you've learned a little bit more in the Pinterest realm as far as keyword searching? And can we move on? All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, this is gonna get- Nobody tricky. teaches this as well as Kim, oh, right? I, I love it. And I know this is a super tight, challenge. I mean, we have three quick, quick days together. I wish we had more. Um, but if you want more with me, I'm going to share how you can have more with me. All right. Because what's happening is I'm looking for people who want to set up their Q4 and beyond in a very, very healthy way. So follow my instructions because this is going to get a little bit tricky. This is why I'm recording. This is why I'm streaming into the Facebook group. But for time's sake, I'm not going to stop and watch the comments and keep showing it again. All right. So I need your undivided attention. And thank you, Rebecca. That's such a sweet compliment. Tammy, I would create new pins every day and reshare. Okay, I'm going to shut the chat down. So when we're on Pinterest, you'll notice the top left-hand corner has this little hamburger, we call it. It's these three little lines. I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna open a whole bunch of stuff. Don't worry about the whole bunch. We're gonna go over to the ads column right here, ADS ads. That's the column we're looking at. And I'm gonna go down to create a campaign. I'm not gonna spend your money, I'm not gonna spend my money, but when you pay to play, they give you the best of the best tools. You don't have to put a credit or a debit card in to show you what I'm gonna show you, but you're going to see very quickly why this is such a bad ass tip. On this first page, we're just gonna just, you don't need to do anything. We're gonna scroll to the bottom and we're gonna click continue. You don't need to touch anything on the first page. Scroll down to the bottom, click continue. Now on the second page, it's asking you, hey, what's your targeting strategy? This is for people who want to run ads, all right? But again, if you're filling this platform with your money to run ads, they're gonna give you the best tools because if you have a good return on investment, you're gonna come and replenish those funds and spend more. I don't know if you noticed, I'll show you again, on the previous search feed, we see sponsored ads a lot of times from a lot of companies that you already know. 
Keebler, US Bank, Fidelity, Amazon, they are all choosing to spend their advertising dollars on Pinterest. What do they know that you don't? So when we're on this page, our strategy is we wanna find new customers. You see that? So we're gonna click select next to find new customers. When we do, it's gonna unlock the bottom section. You see right now how this is all locked. We can't access that. When we say, well, I wanna find new customers, select. Now it unlocks these additional features that we need to tap into. All we're gonna do is scroll down to right here where it says interest and keywords. We want these keywords. So we're gonna click the drop down. And when we run an ad, this is a very intimate thing. I will never ever teach ads privately, um, publicly. This is something that I do one-on-one -on -one because it's a, it's a very intimate journey. Your goals, your budgets, everything is different. Um, so if, if you ever want to start to run ads on Pinterest, you would have to schedule a call with Barbara. She would hook you up with a strategy session and then you would get on my calendar and we would work together to get that completed, okay? So right now, we don't care about the interest. If we ever run an ad, we have to care about the interest. Right now, we just wanna steal your keywords and run. We're gonna skedaddle. So click add keywords and now we can play. What do we wanna play with? Hmm. Tell me what you do. Someone. Rebecca's mind is already blowing. Metabolic. Metabolic. Meaning what? Weight loss, energy. What did I just see? Renee. Hello, Renee. Renee's had a strategy session with me. Cell with certainty. Perimenopause brain fog. Ah, weight loss, metabolic. What did she say after that? Weight loss. I want to show Philip dogs too, because I promised him. So I'm going to type the word weight. Remember what I said? Less is more. Okay. Watch what happens. <laughs> Let me get rid of my search. Okay. Just the word weight. W-E-I-G-H-T. Just the one word is producing two to three million monthly searches. I'm gonna stop right here and ask you, hi Lyric, what would happen for all my health and wellness people if you simply use the word weight in your account somewhere, in your pin title, in your pin description? It's one freaking word and you already have two to three million monthly searches. We could literally end this challenge right here, right? If I click on it, it's going to start to put it in the left-hand column for me because it thinks these are the keywords that I want to run an ad for. So I'm actually going to steal these and now I'm going to do a few more. I would copy these and now I would paste them on my Trello board. Right. If you're using any anything, it doesn't matter. Notion, Google Docs. I don't care what tools you're using. Just keep these somewhere. And I always recommend that we re. This is what I call keyword mining. It's like we're mining for freaking gold right now. We're mining for keywords. I recommend doing your keyword mining once a quarter. Typically, um, you know, before a new season begins. Okay, so weight loss meal prep. There's another two to three million monthly searches. Click it, it's on the left hand side. Weight loss meals, weight loss workouts, one to two million. Weight loss workout plan, right? Do you see now why? <laughs> I love this so much weight training, weight loss, one to 2 million a month, 
weight loss, we could keep going and going and going and going. I would take every single keyword that makes sense to your brand, your product, your client. I would copy those and again, paste them somewhere. Right now, feel free to take a screenshot. I'm going to paste it. right in the chat for you. And I think you guys, you should be able to save your chat, but if not, take a screenshot. Um, so now, why do we wanna lose weight, right? These are the things I want you thinking. Have you ever heard the seven whys? Like when someone is telling you something, you wanna ask why and go seven levels deep. Why do you wanna lose weight? Is it for a wedding? Is it for health? Is it for aging with grace? Is it because you want to get off medication, right? There's so many reasons. Who, who are you talking to? Is it women? Is it moms? Is it women over 50? Because keep in mind, if I type the word mom, now I can kind of scroll through here and see if I want to marry my keywords together. Look at this, the word mom has 500,000 to 1 million searches every single month. So if I'm like, oh, hey, weight loss meals for moms, for mom, right? Now what's happening? You're taking the, the weight behind this keyword, the weight behind this keyword, you're smashing them together. You are getting in front of your ideal client every single time every single time. I don't know why there's not more people on this Zoom. Seriously. Okay. You guys are getting a freaking masterclass. Seriously. I told you I'm going to pop that head right off. Now let's assume. Ninja hacks everyone. I'm, <laughs> I'm like telling you, it's awesome. Remember what I said, when these consumers, when these pinners are on Pinterest and they're looking the algorithm is super smart. It knows what they're looking for. So it shows them their similar content every time they're online. Just a few months ago, there were 482 million monthly active users. Before that, there was only 462, just a few months back. Now there's 522 million. I'm probably the reason that Pinterest is growing so fast. And I'm, I'm we willing to take the credit for that. But in all seriousness, this is why it's growing so fast. The studies that I shared with you yesterday, it's a fact, a scientific proven fact that 10 minutes a day on Pinterest leaves you feeling less stressed, less alone, less isolated and happier. There's a reason people are spending so much time on Pinterest. Watch this. For those of you who came out of Stacy and Nicole's realm, I showed you this the other night, but if you're here from Shanda or from me, you might not have seen this. Look at the word TikTok. I should say words. It's not a compound word. It's a word. Two to three million monthly searches for TikTok. Barb, you know what the crazy thing is? Pinners are so freaking loyal to this platform. They don't go to TikTok to look for videos. They search here for TikTok videos. Yes. So if you're creating content on other platforms, let me type in Instagram and show you that there's over 5 million monthly searches for Instagram. Watch what happens. We're gonna create this virtual spider web for you so damn well that your people can never get out of it, ever. And they don't want to, right? Sorry to bust your bubble, but you guys are now stuck with me for life. <laughs> You'll never get out of my web. Phil, you here, buddy? Watch this. I told y'all, like people spend some money on their animals, on their dogs. And Philip is like, I help dogs. I think that's an incredible niche. Incredible. Thank you, Rebecca. Dogs with an S. There's over 5 million monthly searches. Hey, guys, real quick. I love you all, too. I'm going to post these keywords in the chat again for you, but because I want to pull some for Phil right now. I want you to acknowledge 
the singular and the plural language because it makes a difference. The dogs with an S has over 5 million monthly searches. Dog, singular, over 5 million monthly searches. Because humans are different, they're gonna think differently. They're going to search differently. So if we start to think of our keywords and our content like a little Rubik's cube, constantly shifting, thinking of every, I feel like Elon Musk right now, like my brain just won't shut off. I can see the neurons firing. Think of what's tucked under every single rock, every corner, what's behind door number one, door number two. And we need to use it all. We need to exhaust it. We need to milk it dry. So like dog toys, dog toy, singular, dog lover, dog lovers. Phil, I would use every single variation of this because you're going to get different people who search a different way. When we omit keywords, because we think, right? We think we're more educated than the system and we know what the people want. That's when we're broke. Oh, I think I hurt someone's heart or I really excited them. Um, dogs and puppies, all of the keywords I just pulled all have over 5 million monthly searches. Dog pet, dog videos, dog funny, dog meme, dog cat. Phil, I'm telling you right now, buddy, you are in one of the greatest niches. And if you are not making money, I'm uh, schedule a call with Barb. You and I can get on a strategy session. I'm telling you what. Okay. So do you understand why we tap into this little hidden gem in the ad section to create a campaign to steal or borrow from Pinterest? I love the fact that it gives us these monthly search uh, volume. And there's a reason why when people like Joe started working with us, with my team, and we I started to teach her Pinterest, she had her first $1,000 day on week number four. This is what we did. We kind of hijacked the system. We don't have time to wait. If you're in my world, we're not going to wait 90 days for results. We're going to get in. We're going to put our sleeves up. We're going to get dirty. We're going to get to work. We're going to take consistent action and boom, you see results in no time. That's a big promise. Okay. Last but not least. Um, Dominique is asking like, can I have some personal stuff on here? Yeah, you definitely can. You know, like I said, in the group, in the Facebook group, I've made a, I'm sorry for my language here, but I've made a shit ton of money on Facebook, a shit ton of money. I'm saying it for real, playing in some groups of things I have hobbies with, because if people can build rapport and find that common ground with you, they, they trust and rapport is built pretty quick. So when they see all of the other things that you do, they're like, oh, snap. I didn't know Kim taught Pinterest. I didn't know she offers this and that and this. I need that. I now have people from my church that literally come to find me and they're like, hey, can you teach me this? I need to, I need to know this, right? So if I look at one of my boards, it's called goat. I'm the goat mom. I have too many goats. I love them. These are my goats. And people see that and they're like, oh, cool, right? Cool. So one last really insane. Are you getting value so far from day two? Because there's one more feature. Ah, cool. I love it. We're going to, this is not a free tool. Everything I showed you so far has been a free tool. This one is paid. It's called SpyFu. S-P-Y-F-U. SpyFu.com. Allison, yes, there's always a replay. We're streaming live right now into my Facebook group. It's called Pinterest Marketing for Beginners. As soon as we're done streaming today, you can head right in there. What's up, Greg? Um, you can head right over there and, and watch the replay. So on SpyFu, 
who else can I use as an example? Anita Green, you said selling. Like selling what? Tell me more about that. <laughs> Products, services, yourself. Yeah, I just love her. Um, Anita's Karen. great. She she's like all about the words you use when selling. She's brilliant. Lauren, what the hell is cannabis and cannabis infused yoga? That's really specific. I wouldn't do that. I would do cannabis as a standalone, and then I would do yoga as a standalone, and I would marry those keywords together. All right. Um, Sandy, I know what company you're with and you have to be super careful. So think about the pains and problems your people want, right? They, they want to move, they want mobility, they have joint pain, they have pain, they have muscle pain. By the way, if we're going back to the ad section, even though Pinterest does not let you run ads for weight loss or anything to do with like children, you can still find some keywords, but if you, so pain is a trigger word. Obviously you can't use that because of a lot of companies, um, anxiety won't come up pain, anxiety, none of that stuff is going to come up here. So you have to get specific and like you would type in the word muscle. And if I scroll down far enough, I just know this inside and out. That's why you're probably thinking how, do, how the heck does she know this? So right here there's, I just blew by it, but it said muscle pain. There's muscle health. There is muscle pain right there. Muscle cramps, muscle massage, muscle cramping, muscle relief, muscle, right? You have to get creative in how you search for your keywords. That's why I needed you live with me because when, when we're on social media, we think one way. When we're searching for keywords for the search engine, that's almost like our brain is like misfiring is like, I don't know what to do. Luckily for you, this is how my brain works. It's insane. Um, I want to think of a way to put this where it would give us a good response for Anita. Because if I type selling, I'm not sure if this is will, will do us any service. But just for an example, let me show you what happens so you know how to use this. Spyfu, it's like $9 a month. It's very much worth it, okay? So I type just the word selling. It tells us right now there are over 3 million keywords that are something to do with selling. It's very big, right? I would hone down a little bit on this. I'm gonna look at the keywords because Spyfu also gives us the monthly search volume. This time, the monthly search volume isn't from just Pinterest. When we're in the ad section, that's giving us Pinterest data. It's telling us how many searches are happening on Pinterest. When we're on SpyFu, it's extrapolating data from Google, Bing, um, YouTube, and I believe Amazon as well, okay? So I also want to look at the questions people are asking because Miss Anita and everybody else, this question is your hook. This question is your keyword and you want to use it verbatim. Don't change it. If something is misspelled, use the misspelled word. I know I've brought up Joe Tetlow a lot, but I have not had any other client do 25K in five months since Joe. She helps dogs with separation anxiety. The misspelling of separation anxiety was higher than the proper correct spelling. I had to tell her, just, I know you're educated. Drop the ego, use the misspelled word, and boom, people found her because that's how they were spelling it, not her. So I'm going to click view all. And these are the questions that people are asking. It's so weird, but I just want to show you. Number one, how to sell on Amazon. 
If you can help people with that, let's go over to the right column that says volume. This shows us that there's 29,000 monthly searches, 29,000 times people are asking how to sell on Amazon. If Anita could help with this topic, she better start creating pins and videos called how to sell on Amazon. What happens when she does consistently? Over time, she's compounding the search engines by Philip. Yep, schedule a call with Barbara, please. I'll send her link out in an email. Um, when the search engine sees how much compounding stuff, content Anita has, she's gonna pop up with these 29,000 monthly searches. Do you think she's gonna generate leads? make sales, grow her influence, grow her following, enroll clients. You bet. You bet. What is short selling, right? There's 5,300 monthly searches. How to sell on Facebook Marketplace. How to sell on Etsy. All this. And you just use the data that's given to you. You don't overthink it. You just use the data. And before long, boom, right? I don't think I told you the story. I might have. Um, I know I shared in 2020 when my financial coach leaned in and said to me, hey, Kim, like seriously, this is no joke, you guys. What would you do if you were unable to physically work your business for four consecutive months? That's like a a numbing moment if you don't have leverage, tools, automation. The world could look pretty dismal. I retired my husband after 23 years of him serving as a first responder. We have got a lot of responsibility. I knew I'd be in trouble. I took her question seriously and I got to work. I found Pinterest. I read every single blog everything from Pinterest corporate, and I am self-taught still to this day. And in September, I got very, very, very sick. I was down for 25 days. We did not think I was gonna make it. This is no joke. My husband's literally on the other side of this door. He can probably hear me talking. Our doctor would call my husband's cell phone every night and say, how is she? My husband being a medic, he would pound my back. He would force me to walk outside and it hurt so hard to breathe. I was very close to a ventilator. Our finances never changed during that time in my life because I was generating leads, sales through my automation, through Pinterest, so my husband could go grocery shopping without looking at the debit card or the checking account. We didn't have to worry. And that's when I realized I'm gonna write this Pinterest thing into my will. This is my daughter's legacy. And thank you guys for your love, but I want you to put yourself in my shoes for a second because Pinterest is so much bigger than what we're doing here, right? And I wanna help you. So I have never done this before, ever, 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 ever done this before. Um, I am in the middle of a mastermind right now. And I've never launched another one simultaneously. But there's 400 of you and there's one of me. And I've had so many people say, I want to get this thing under my belt so that I can have an amazing Q4. I can set up my 2025 and know what my future looks like. And so all I wanna know is, do you want my help? All right, I am gonna show you something. This is not for everyone. I can promise you that right now. But if this is for you, you're going to know it's for you. And I can only take 50 people. This isn't a gotcha. I am one human. I can only take 50 people at a time. 
And out of 400, you're going to have to make a quick decision. Okay. Let me say this right now for you. Um, Barbara here, my beautiful Barbara Bonds, she has her calendar open. So if you have any questions, if you're wondering, can this work for my business? How does this work? I just need to talk to someone before I make a decision. Please, we are not, we are not the pushy pressure salespeople. We don't work like that, right? Schedule a call with her, get some things worked out, and then, then step in. I want to create a pinfluencer out of you. So the Pinfluence Profits Mastermind was born out of me not being able to have as many one-on-one -on -one clients as I once did. I mean, it. this was crazy. It is a full immersive 12-week program with me, you, and whoever else says yes. And I'm really sorry, we have to cut this off at 50 people. August 26th, we are going to kick off our 12-week journey together. I am going to walk you through the best Q4 of your life, okay? So we are going to get together once a week for a 60-minute session, and we're going to deep dive. I am going to look at your account. I am going to put you in the hot seat. I am going to pull keywords for you. I am going to show you everything I know about Pinterest. I do not hold back. You're going to have Q&A sessions. You're going to have in-depth training. You're not going to walk away confused, scared, uncertain. You have lifetime access to everything we do together with a exclusive private Facebook community. So if you have questions for me, you guys are all right now in the Pinterest Marketing for Beginners Facebook group. There's 1,600 people in there. I cannot answer every single question. The mastermind students get my attention first and always, okay? So you can ask me anything in between our sessions together. And I do offer a pay in full bonus, which we're going to get into in just a second. But I have thousands and thousands and thousands of testimonials, of students, of success stories, of people who are like, holy crap. I didn't even know this was a thing. I told you about Summer. She had a $50,000 day, right? And Gordon generated 23 quality leads from one pin and spoke at Jean Kuhn's summit yesterday. And it, she brings people on dolphin and whale retreats and she's generating leads off of Pinterest, right? So here I am, blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's me. And the bonus that I'm offering to you is you're going to get lifetime access to my Pinterest Marketing Academy. This is a bonus. It's not a prerequisite. It's not a you have to do this, but the PMA alone. And again, this is why we're dropping Barbara's link. If you have any questions, because I'm going fast, there's a lot of people, I'm conscientious of time. Maybe you want to know more about PMA. Maybe you just want to buy PMA. Please speak with Barb. She will point you in the right direction. But this is my hybrid course. Everything Pinterest A through Z. You have lifetime access to that. And against my coaches, I update these modules when there's a change in an update with the Pinterest platform and you will never pay for those updates. It's included. You get a private Facebook community just for the PMA students, and we meet once a month on a Zoom, so you can ask questions every single month, all right? It's really crazy. So if you pay in full, your price is $2,100. If you need a payment plan, it is $1,000 a month for three months. We offer financing and we do have other options. That's why you would need to schedule a call with Barbara. She is, she's got it all for you, okay? So we are going to meet every week for 12 weeks. You are going to walk away with a new life.
a new business. I mean, it's incredible. We, we start, we kick off August 26th. It's a Monday. We meet at 115 Central. Okay. Right. Oh, thank you for dropping that link. I was going to, oh, okay. I see it. I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> I saw it now. There's the link for the mastermind. Please talk to Barb. Let her know where you're at. Let her know what questions you have. And um, she's here. Do you want to add anything? Um, you know, anyone has any questions whatsoever, you're not sure of something, jo it's successwithkimmore.com. Let's talk. You'll get on my calendar any questions you have whatsoever. We also put in there the directly, if you know, right this moment you want in, there is the, the, the link is right there and you can click on that. So I can answer any and all questions if you have questions about the amount, how to do it, all the things. There are several ways to get in. So if you're having your, you can't do a pay in full, talk to me, we'll work things out. And I know you won't say this. I'm going to say it for you, please. We are people of integrity in my community. This is one of my biggest core values. I don't mess around. If you schedule a call with Barbara, you need to honor it. This is her time. And I shared my story, my personal story with you. Time is our most precious commodity. Barb doesn't need to sit around tapping her feet, wondering if you're gonna show up to the call. If you're not, hit the cancel button. But if you schedule a call, I need you to have the intention you are going to show up. That is the right thing to do. We're not gonna pressure you. Jean, it's 1.15 Central on Mondays. 115. I know that's a weird time. Um, it just works for me. And it's one hour. It's 60 minutes. 60 minutes. And we start on time. We end on time. And with that being said, I kept you a few minutes extra today. <laughs> so if you have stepped into the mastermind and you know you're coming and you've made your decision, let me know. Liz, like I said, excuse me. Um, if you can't make it every single Monday, it's okay. The sessions are recorded. They are live streamed into your private Pinfluence Facebook group. You have lifetime access to everything and you've got the group. So in between your sessions, you can tag me. You can ask me anything. My mastermind students always get my attention first. Okay. So these, these are your keywords. These are your options. This is day two. I hope that you guys are walking away with tremendous value, tremendous perspective. And I really appreciate your time. I kept you a little bit longer. So if you're stepping into the mastermind, welcome. When you schedule, Stephanie, your appointment with Barbara, it's going to be whatever time zone you see on your screen. You can set it to your local time. And we are going to be here tomorrow for day three, same link, same time. And we're going to just drive this thing home tomorrow. Love you guys so much, Barb. Thank you again. Thank we'll you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye for now. Bye, Bye. everyone. Oh, sorry, Facebook. I will be right back, Facebook, with the link. <laughs> Barb, we forgot about Facebook. So sorry, guys. All right, friends. See you tomorrow.